What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time here. About three or four days ago, someone left a comment to one of my videos complaining that I put out too much news type content and not enough informational type content. And there's a reason for that. For one, there's actually two reasons. For one, news type content is important because it's important to know what's actually going on and what the threats are. But also, news content gets the most views. You know, if you put out a video about how to store rice, for example, it might get 1,200 views, 2,000 views. If you put out a good news type, current news type video talking about current events, that will get 10, 15,000 views. So a lot more views for a lot more eyeballs on the channel. And that's what creators want is more eyeballs on the channel. However, I definitely understand that, you know, informational content is also extremely important. And I have a website, indieprintmore.com, that has nearly 400 articles on that website. I have four books out with informational content. I have over 500 videos on this channel with probably 25% of those informational content. So check all those out. But guys, I am going to try to incorporate more informational type content into this channel because it is extremely important also. And I have kind of overlooked that for the news type content for the simple reasons stated a minute ago. But there's a snare back here. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. We'll turn the camera around and show you how this is set up. We'll talk about setting up, you know, a snare to trap, small game. You can also use the same principle to trap a larger game like wild boar, uh, deer, for example, bear, but you make a lot bigger cable and rope than this. This snare is simply a small game snare for things like squirrel, rabbit, and the small type game, whatever is in your area. That's a small game, like about five pound or less. That's what this snare here is set up for. Well, guys, this snare here is set up on a spring pole. You can see right here, here's the spring pole that will actually pull that snare up into the air when this is pulled on and triggered by the animal. Here's a simple trigger mechanism here at the top as you can see. There's different ways of doing this. You can do this with, you know, like a nail into the tree to hook this to. It's simply all it is. Any way you can hook this up to hold something like this right here, to hold the pressure, and this will work for a trigger. There's no one way to do this. There's several ways you can actually do this. And here's the one I did on this with this setup right here because it's easiest for this setup. You have to look at what is actually the easiest way to do things where you are with what you have and that was the easiest right here for me to set this up to show you all like i said you can put a nail in the tree hook this to the nail different ways to do this however the important thing is to have the spring pole and for it to actually be springy because you want it to snap up when the trap is triggered you don't want to have too much pressure you know you don't want to take and have a huge powerful spring pole here you want something just strong enough to lift the animal up into the air slightly to tighten this snare up and hopefully to lift the animal up to keep it away from some predators if you have a really strong spring pole it's going to take more power to actually release that trigger and you don't want that you want to have just enough to pull the animal up into the air or at the least to make this snare more secure until you get back to harvest the animal you caught in that snare you can see here you want to have the snare is slightly bigger than what the animal's head is and you want to have this on like a trail or you want to have food behind this you want to have this blocked off to make it where it's more difficult to go over or through or around and the easiest way to go through is through right here an animal is like humans they'll follow the easiest path available so they'll go right through here and this will pull around their body and when it does it'll cause this here to pull loose and will pull the animal up into the air under snare Different ways to set triggers, different ways to set snares. This is a commercial snare, as you can see. You can also use a rope. You can also use wire. You can use, this is wire here, but it's like a cable. You can also use copper wire, anything you have to make that snare and to make that loop that just simply tightens up as pressure is put on that to keep the animal in place. Well, guys, that's how you make a simple spring pole type snare. Simple, quick, and efficient. If you've done this before, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, get a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'm going to create more matter here, and I'll see you all in the next video, hopefully.